So, Paige, how bad was Evie Ray's eczema and when did it start? Uh, she had eczema from a baby, yeah. uh, but it just kept getting worse and worse. But it's when she was around one, two, it was mm. at her worst. Um, and how badly did it affect her? What did the rash look like? How itchy Awful. was it? Uh, really, really bad. Constantly itchy. Didn't sleep at night. It was just... And we were couldn't... seeing some pictures there of her yeah. hands. And um, What about... It's so difficult not to scratch. She's constantly lift... scratching. She has to wear scratch mitts. Uh, she used to have to wear... These, she looked like a mummy, like to wrap her up in bandages. Yeah. So. Um, and can you remember, Evie Ray, how sore that was? What was it like when you had all those rashes on you? It made me sore. It made you sore. Made you very sore. Did it make you cry sometimes? Yeah. Um, what had you tried? So you took her to the GP, obviously. What yeah, kind of they gave us uh, steroid creams, normal moisturisers, nothing just... The steroid cream would work, but then it would just come back up again. Mm. Um, we tried Aveeno, E45, product called Mubu. Literally, I was just... So lots of uh, those people yeah. will, will know. This, yeah, I was just... eczema treatments. Yeah, I didn't know what to do anymore. Mm. Mm. Well, um, the only claim that the, the cream makes is, is that it's a, a rich and luxurious hydrating, moisturising cream for all skin types with a fresh citrus aroma of grapefruit mixed with organic Tea tree oil, doctor. So, the thing that gets me, so this says it's a <laughs> moisturiser. Um, you know, when you're prescribed, when you have skin problems, and I've had skin problems throughout my life, and you're prescribed an emollient. Well, that smells nice, yeah? When you're prescribed an emollient, anyone who suffers from psoriasis or eczema will think they just, they don't want to be moisturised. Yeah. They want the redness gone. Um, is this all a bit hit and miss? What is the science behind this? Well, there's a lot of science behind it. And I, this, this is a wonderful story, I have to say. Yeah. It is so exciting. Um, and just imagine how grim it must be to have eczema, or indeed psoriasis, or any of these skin conditions. They are life-destroying. Yeah. And you don't sleep for scratching, and the skin is sore, and it weeps, and you can't hide it. It's really miserable. And to see this sort of outcome is absolutely fantastic news. <laughs> She's showing us it, her arms now, because you're very yeah, happy know, that it's gone, wonderful. Moisturisers, emollients, are actually anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. And if you use them regularly, you will actually deal with a lot of that redness. It will... And, and, and Evie is now simply using yeah. this moisturiser. So when this... I was young, it was coal tar that was prescribed yep, that's... Um, quite a lot. And anyone who's had that will know it that stinks. the smell... Look, it stinks. Absolutely stinks. Smell looks, and this is... This is, this is um, Child's Farm, and yep. it's an organic... Um, cream, yes. three ninety nine. It's just across the counter. Yes. So you tried everything else. Yes. You saw this just while you were in your chemist one day and thought I was well, walking through Boots. Yeah, thought worth a try. I seen it and it said for eczema prone skin. I thought I've tried everything else. Yeah. Three ninety nine. Let's just give it a try. Um, how quickly did you notice results? Within two days, she had, it had gone down. But then within a week, it was just. And, and how often were you like applying that. this? Uh, three times a day. And three when you went on social media, you got this amazing uh, feedback. Yeah, because... I was just sat at yeah. home one night and I yeah. thought, I've never heard of this cream, so I put a review up. Which shows how desperate people are. People just yeah. want a, a, a cure doctor um, on this. What's your verdict overall about this cream? I like all, virtually all moisturisers. I, that's the main message, to moisturise your skin and, and to use the one that you like. That's probably the most important. Um, there's tremendous patient um, individual uh, choice, and I think that they must find one that they like from the the feel of it, how well it soaks in, um, with how it smells, and, and so on. Is that on. because you're more likely to use exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. exactly that. Um, second thing is to make sure you're not using a moisturiser that has any harmful ingredients. And, and I've checked through the ingredients on this, and this clearly is free of any harmful agents. Agents like sodium lauryl sulfate, which is now very famous, um, present in some of the ones that doctors still prescribe, and like aqueous cream, which would never go near the skin. That damages the skin and makes things like eczema worse. Um, some preservatives, some colouring agents, some fragrances can cause allergic reactions in some individuals. So it's a very personal choice. Mm. You need to choose an emollient and a moisturiser that you like, mm. and then use it regularly. But we're not saying this is a miracle cream and it's going to cure everybody's eczema. Well, we've got one case. Yeah. And I'm, I'm mm. sort of from conventional medicine where oh, we we're getting We're getting social media feedback um, today already. as well. People saying that it's worked on their psoriasis. People saying it's amazing. Um, Kerry Sweeten says, no, nope, didn't work for her. Joy Evans, um, she says, I made organic breast milk soap. Uh, and we, w we switched to that using, uh, using it. And uh, her son's eczema has uh, totally 
uh, cleared up as a result of that. If it works for you, it works for you. We're glad it worked for Eva Ray Page. Thank you yeah. very much indeed. Thank Doctor, you. thank you very much indeed as well.